We present scene responsiveness, the illusion that the physical scene is responsive to virtual actions. Augmented reality integrates virtual content in the physical world. So far, however, virtual content is only placed in the physical scene, but cannot affect it. We suggest to increase integration through scene responsiveness. Scene responsiveness allows characters, such as this one, to manipulate the physical environment. For example, dragging this card and pushing it down the stairs. It also allows characters to enter and exit the scene in more situated ways, such as using the physical elevator. The scene cannot only respond to character actions, but also to user actions. This time, let's consider the three steps it takes to create an illusionary episode. First, we initiate an illusion. The scene responds to user action, in this case a telekinetic gesture to summon the plan to the user's hand. However, consider now the user were to reach out to the drop virtual object. The illusion would break immediately given the mismatch between the visual and the tactile signal. As a countermeasure, we maintain the illusion by making objects elusive from the user, keeping visual and tactile perception coherent. Of course, the illusion would also break if the user unintentionally collided with the physical object. Therefore, third, we complete the illusion by re-physicalizing the object just in time so that as the user reaches out, visual tactile consistency is ensured again. We call this the daydreaming illusion type. Scene responsiveness also enables the Copperfield illusion as a second type. Consider this physical chair the user can even sit on. The chair is responsive to the character's manipulation and can be carried around. But of course, you wouldn't be able to sit on it, right? Did the user really take a seat on a chair that the monkey just put there? Well, of course not. It was just an illusion. The user did not take a seat on the chair the monkey carried. Instead, the user took a seat on a physical chair that was just hidden from the user's view, but had been there all along. We diegetically transport and align the source object to the target pose. Our evaluation with 20 participants indicated the illusion fidelity lends itself to a magical experience. Scene responsiveness is based on a technique of toggling between the reality states of an object. Given a physical chair, we first remove it visually. Notice how the filled background lines up with the physical geometry and appearance. Then we insert a digital object twin at the physically corresponding pose and shape. The digital twin can be manipulated in all ways that virtuality affords. After scanning in the space on the left and interactable objects on the right, we use a custom Unity plugin to automatically obtain the scene's visual appearance, geometry and walkable area semantics. Next, we position the object twins. We annotate receptive affordances and their corresponding affordance features needed to situate character animations. We also annotate responsive affordances along with the desired scene response upon manipulation. We can develop the character logic like a standard 3D computer game and the interaction logic like a standard VR game. When deploying to the headset, our spatial computing and stereoscopic shading architecture automatically renders it for scene-responsive mixed reality, taking care of occlusion, collision, shadows, dynamic path planning, situated animations, inverse kinematics for character grab interactions, and of course, just-in-time virtualization upon character or user manipulation, hiding the object as needed. To remove an object, we insert a 3D masking plane, take the background and project it onto the plane, fade out toward the edges, alpha compositing the result with a pass-through layer. Unfortunately, the masking plane also includes the virtual 3D scene, for example the character and the virtual counterpart of the physical object. Dynamically assigning camera layers, rendering orders and depth buffer reads and writes, we construct a shading architecture, which provides smooth portals between the physical and the co-aligned virtual space, allowing virtual characters and objects to seamlessly travel between the two. Our shading architecture is coherency preserving and works for multiple objects, even in one line of sight, taking care of occlusions and seamlessly handing over shadows between the physical and the manipulated space. <laughs>